Be a good boy somewhere else. Ain't nothing gonna bring my style. Ain't, Ain't nobody gonna, gonna slow me down. down. Oh, oh. I, I gotta happening. keep on walking. Hey everyone, welcome and to welcome to ComCom. Com. It's time again for your com from our com. Uh, we will com about them. Episode number. It is. It's episode. Uh, this is a July, and we've got three new videos, so let's get to those comments. First up was Rules for That Princesses. Rachel, you got some comments for us? No, Ian. I do. Ian, do you have it's some comments It's me. I'm about the that? Disney princess. I knew you were. <clears throat> From Andrew Tripp. That singing was spot on, Ian. Keep it up, and you too shall one day become a Disney princess. Well, I always knew you had it in you. Let it go. Oh, let no. it Don't go. Don't start again. I'm not ready to laugh that hard. So, um, uh, as you can tell, I'm a professional singer. And actually, I only do Door Monster stuff on the side because it's fun. We had an entirely different joke written, but then Ian sang. And that's the joke. And that that's... was too good of a joke to make any any other jokes. I, uh, I just, I don't know, like, you, Rachel, you can sing. Ricky, you can sing. You can't, he doesn't admit to it. Kyle can sing great. Um, and I think, and Allison can sing at least, you know, twice as well as I can. I just can't. You can sing. Okay, I can't it's sing not, effectively. It's just not usually on key, but sometimes it's on You know, it's just not songs key. with the notes. This is good. This is good. I can work with this. Yeah, exactly. So can, Actually, your Hamilton is pretty spot on. Yeah, so. your Hamilton's I can, good. I can, I can, I can get some Nikki verses every now and then. Yeah, I bet you could. And uh, once, in one of these com-coms forever ago, I did Modern Major General, and it was, it was terrible. So don't go look it up. Mm-hmm. From Larry Davison. Remember, princess is where they end up, not always where they start. Ooh. Okay, so so okay, let's have the conversation. Sure. Need a Disney princess be royal? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. First off, explain. Fight. Like uh, it's called a Disney princess, right? Yeah. We don't count uh, Megara. Okay. All right. I are you okay? All right. All right. We don't count Megara. We don't count Esmeralda because they're not princesses. But do we count Mulan? Um. She becomes a princess. She marries the prince at the end. No, she doesn't no, marry he's a anyone. She, she doesn't yeah. even marry him. And the only thing that they resolve is that she's two. gonna go get food for him. In Mulan two, they marry. It's still not a prince. Oh, anyway, right. Rachel, you, your side, go. Um, Mulan's a Disney princess, and she's not a royal at all. Therefore, Disney princesses don't have to be royal. But Mulan is. Mulan is royal just because some of them are royal it doesn't mean all of them are royal. It what has about... to do with the magnanimity of spirit that is traditionally thought of as being held by a princess or another person in a royal capacity. So she's a chieftain's daughter. What about um, Esmeralda? Esmeralda, um, is not really what is not really a Disney princess. I don't think she's marketed like one. I think she's just a female right, right. protagonist. Sarah Silverman. As we know, Quasimodo is the protagonist of that. Sarah Silverman is literally is a Disney princess. A princess in the movie. Yeah, she's she? a princess. She re- yeah. her data was rewritten to not be the princess, but she actually is. The oh, princess they changed the laws. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's princess okay. something. What about Maid Marian? Maid Marian. Maid Marian. She's just a maid. Maid Marian. No, I think maid from Robin uh, Hood. She, is she, no, but she's, she's like some royal. royal maid. She's she's a royal maid to like no one. Or is she a maiden? I don't know. Is she, she's anyway. a maid. She's like by that they mean like virgin Marian. Mm, okay. Also, Megara is a princess, and that's where he cut. Go. I am the very He's model. The king of a of modern the god. major demigod. What is, what is a demigod's wife? In, uh, like what is that? It depends Nothing. on which one. <laughs> Some, well, okay, so uh, fun fact: she's dead. He kills her after it's it's a really I'm sad. Very sure. Uh, it's a, not a great story actually. But if if it like worked out, right. um, uh, she would like I don't know. His his immortal shade went up to to Olympus. I guess he did princely stuff there. All I'm saying is that Hades follows all of his deals to the letter, and Hercules breaks his deals. Right. Yeah. Because they're stupid deals. Like he 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 says that he's gonna go in the little lake thing, mm-hmm. and then he doesn't. He comes out. Little known fact, Hades is actually the one who wrote The Art of the Deal. We have uh, Prison Architect, uh, which was a fun video that was sponsored by uh, Paradox Games. Which is Paradox really Games. cool, Paradox <coughs> Games. Paradox Thank Games you. is a cool yeah. place. Go check them out during the Steam sale. And check out our videos about them because they're funny. 10 out yeah. of 10 would check out. So uh, the first comment here I have is, uh, I honestly, I just picked it because the person who wrote it. We have Fred Durst. Uh, I always knew he was a fan. Fred Durst. Big fan. Uh, he says, 
gotta be honest, who hasn't heard of this game, it's a pretty good forestry sim. Is this, I guess, a joke on resource management for prisons? I've actually never, I've never played Prison Architect. I did not also play Prison Architect. But I presume it takes a lot of... Uh, but I've played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah? And so I know what a simulator game is. Uh-huh. And I can imagine that you have to, like, manage all sorts of stupid resources uh, in doing this. So that makes sense. Right. Uh, I but Fred Durst commented on our... Look at him. That's really cool. I also, I'm glad that he knows about... Uh, quality gaming. Yeah, Gatsby, please stay away from the microphone. No, he can go ahead oh, if he wants. We don't want to hear his opinions. Wow. He's a dog. They're great opinions. They're the best opinions. Okay. Our second comment is from Heliophage, uh, who says, The voice of Remy plays, and I'm like, I know that voice. So we had some guest people in on this we video. We did, and who's the voice mm-hmm. of Remy? Uh, Remy plays a lot of games. I don't know him. Kyle knows him. Kyle knows him. And we were going to have some other people oh, sorry, on. Which one did he voice? That's what I meant to say. He voices the uh, the the guy who is the foreman. Okay. Where like he's like, he's like I, I want to blame the foreman. He's like, I am the foreman. That's him. That was funny. Uh, but did you know that I'm also in that video? I did. I did. I could tell. I was. Because uh, I brag about it around the house. I was salty because I w- I didn't even know there were voices that needed to be done and I was never even considered. But you did it such was a great like job. Four hours before like, it went up. Why would they Why would they ever go past you? You did such a perfect job. For um, it. I'm a little upset because I voiced the CEO at the end, mm-hmm. and I did like clean takes, right? And then I did a bunch of Boston accent garbage takes. Can you? Can and you, I thought they were great. Just for the sake of example, can you give us one of those lines in a Boston accent? Sure. Uh, park the car, wicked awesome. Is that jo- John F. Kennedy over there on the couch? It is, in fact, me? John F. Kennedy. Oh my Kennedy. god, back from the dead. He's here, guys. <laughs> Just put Fred Durst over my face, John. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. We had a... Was it just Remy in this one? And you? Yeah. Because I know in in, uh, in Stellaris we had a ton a of people. A bunch of people. The um, professor's in it. professor's in it. Uh, we got... Um, Chris uh, and or Jack... Or both? I believe both Chris and Jack. So uh, we've officially collaborated with Asaka, so that's great. Yeah, that's really uh, cool. They also posted the best uh, movie marathoning for this weekend. Yeah. Uh, where it was the Three Days of Goldsberg, uh, where, uh, where you play uh, Independence Day on the 4th, uh-huh. The Fly on the 5th for July 5th. Sure. And a July 6th park for July Jurassic 6th park, park is one of their big deals. I know this. Anyway, if you haven't checked out Chris and Jack go check them out they're great yeah they're they great are. they're um, wonderful and we had a bunch of other people who, who helped with that helped with the yeah. uh, and we should have more people helping out in the yeah. future for all of our videos because now hey we know people now they like us they uh, really so like us keep subscribing and maybe we'll know more people yeah please do guys <coughs> is it my please turn please subscribe wait uh, okay so I'm reading uh, for the I'm reading comments from the grappling rules show video and our first comment is from Jacob Griswold. It says, never played Pathfinder, but these are still enjoyable. Thank that's you. If I can make Pathfinder enjoyable, I can make... That's actually, I mean, that's my whole job. My job is actually to make things that people don't want to, like, think about interesting. Fifth edition... Because I'm a Latin teacher. It's actually hard to write these for. Because mm-hmm. uh, I write the I write the fifth edition ones, and it's like, oh, what are weird, like, out-of-the-way rules in 5th edition? And it's just like, well, there's not really that many, because 5th edition is so simple and streamlined and amazing. I, so I do feel like uh, you do take a lot of hard information and make it entertaining. Yeah. Because, like, I look at the Pathfinder book, and I'm just like, uh, I don't know. It's I'm going to play a fighter. When I'm, doing a, my, when I'm doing the second writing pass and all the 5th edition ones, there's just a lot more room for, like, jokes and just, like, having fun with it, because right. there's not... Uh, it's not just all densely packed rules content. Right. So I get to, like, it's really great just being able to, like, uh, kind of put more creativity in those. Right. But also, at the same time, that's, like, why I like Pathfinder is because uh, you can make a 10-minute video on how to do a, a six-second action. And um, uh, uh, please suggest more, even more complex rule systems below, and I will uh, uh, force my friends to play them. Mm-hmm. We're going to play, I don't know, something to do with GURPS. GURPS? GURPS? I, 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 have, I have a conspiracy theory. That literally nobody has ever run a session of GURPS. I have played one session. What is You're GURPS lying. Stand for? It stands for Generic Usage Retail. It's a uh, generic universal role playing system. Yep. 
it's you're supposed to be able to, it's like a it doesn't have any like uh, flavor to it it's just like here's a class that does physical damage with an object it could be a fighter or it could be an engineer who has a wrench it's a, it does not matter and if you can like write in whatever you need to in the blanks for the flavor uh, one of my friends tried to play an Assassin's Creed campaign mm -hmm. I played an Assassin's Creed character esque person and uh, the session went one time and then we were done Wow, it seems like a very efficient system. It was great. Um, but you're lying, because nobody has ever played GURPS. I Comment tried... about your favorite GURPS times. Oh, that sounds <laughs> bad. I, uh, I tried to play GURPS once, and we like I think only one of us knew how to play, right? Yeah. So we sat down, and he's like, okay, I'll make some characters. And then eight hours later, he had one of them done, which is uh, Pathfinder times. So, man. It sounds torturous. Speaking of torturous, <laughs> this, this comment is from Vesta, and... They are talking about a moment when Ian slaps a bunch of books down on the table that he says are Pathfinder rules books. But anyways, that's context for Vesta's comment. And uh, she says in Pathfinder, proceeds to slap Caesar onto the table. A two crap play. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I, that was pretty good. I wanted to read the thread for this because it's funny. Do it, do it. Spencer uh, Kubista says, little known fact, it was Caesar's mastery of grappling rules that allowed him to conquer all of Gaul. He seized it quickly. Yeah, yeah. there's more seizing puns in the thread. Go look Caesar. up the thread, guys. I've been told I can only read one, uh, wow. one, th one comment in a thread. I have an easier time reading through those Caesar books than I do the grappling rules sometimes. Oh, that's crazy, dude. It's, it's actually all Greek to me. It's not. It's, 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 Latin. it's just not. It's Latin. It's not funny. Mm. <laughs> not a funny Put joke, Ricky. You think, uh, you think we do not hear this, Ricky? Uh, you think these, uh, are not, these are new to us? <laughs> Vi. I am. Uh, I always say it's always per it's all Persian to me in class. Wow. And I'm sorry, Does just, that get laughs? No, this one they say, don't you mean Greek? And I just turn and say, no, I know Greek. And then that, that <laughs> increases the respect for me. Does that increase and they, they, No, uh, I know Greek. <laughs> they think I am an excellent person with high quality because I say things like that. But, okay, all right. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. You're the Latin man. I am. And the grapple man. No, much worse than that. <laughs> okay, I have one more comment on the grappling video. It's from Rachel ButcherCon. Surprise Con. comment. Yeah, from Rachel ButcherCon. It says... Bonus comment. Bonus comment. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> she says, uh, this man is so smart and handsome, would grapple 10 out of 10. <laughs> and to that, I say, get away from my husband. You <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> so, I just went through like three possible jokes in my head, and they're all not as good as what you know. I, I just can't say them on. I can't say them just on. why don't you, you say, say them, them and John nope. will get rid of them. I want no, to no, because no, okay. you might leave them. anyway. Um, <laughs> thank you. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten would uh, would decline to to how to compare it to CMD. Uh, so we'll keep making videos. Y'all keep commenting on them, and you can see yourself featured here. Tell us ideas for what you want in rule show. Um, Tell if, us ideas of what you want. In, in general, life. send me oh, your yeah. Christmas list. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm not Santa. That's contrary to I, popular. That was suspicious. <laughs> I am not that was Santa. Incredibly suspicious. <laughs> Have you uh, ever heard a person who's not Santa say I'm not Santa? Have you ever seen a picture of Ian and Santa in the same place? Actually, I have a theory that when Ian gets old, he's going to look exactly like Santa. No, I need to look given exactly... Given the right hairstyling circumstances and clothing Exactly choices. like John Hammond. I need to look like, I, exactly like the Jurassic Park guy. Oh, my God. I'm gonna that like guy this looks tall. like Santa. It, that except instead of bringing presents, he of brings a death. a lizard and falls into a death. To be fair, he does get in eaten, the book, eaten by that movie. tiny lizard. I don't want you to be like that, man. Technically, his grandparents sound the T-Rex, or his grandparents, his grandchildren sound the T-Rex alarm that sounds rawr, and that makes him fall down the hill, and then the compies get him. Right, okay. So he's scared of T-Rexes and eaten You've by chickens. you also read the book. I have. I had to read the book for English class. Really? In senior year, yeah. Wow. I read it in sixth grade. Oh. I never read, oh. I never read the book, because I'm not a nerd. There we go. She wins, yeah. Well, uh, we'll keep making content. You guys keep commenting on it. Check out our streams like The Morning Show and Digital Cardboard. And, and Playing, playing Rules, Rules Live. Live. And, uh, and check out Kiln Spark on the podcast channel. <laughs> come, to, come to Playing Rules Live and see all the jokes that Ian wanted to make but couldn't. It's true. <laughs> and uh, come see uh, Alter Egos, which should be out soon. Probably by Friday this week, maybe. Whenever we just, uh, just replace this week with whatever week it comes out. Yeah. Right. 
Thanks. Bye. 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 All right, stop filming. Quick hurry before John gets more material. Oh, we're not rolling. We're not filming. Ain't no gonna break my style. Ain't no gonna break me down. down. Oh no. Oh no. I got to keep on. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want more, you can go over to twitch.tv slash TV right this minute, and we are streaming uh, our morning show. We have a morning show. What, what do we do on the morning show? Because this is because we both do the morning show. We do. Yeah, and we stream every single weekday morning on Twitch uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central Time, uh, and we've had a, it's been fun, but not a lot of people know about it. So we're just advertising it real quick. You can go watch it right now if you're watching this during that time. If you're not, then it's not happening. But uh, if it is, go 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 come say hi. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>